Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Vertical Kingdom, a roguelite city building strategy card game, more or less here. I'm excited to check it out here today. We've got to go for... Uh, I've been told to check out the Empire mode. It's going to be like the roguelike mode here. But let's do the tutorial first. It seems like the logical thing to start with, yeah? Welcome to Vertical Kingdom. In this game, you will have to build cities in small lands. So you'll have to build over other structures. The turn in the game... Wait. The, the turn in the game start by... Oh, the turn in the game starts by pressing the card deck button and ends by pressing the same button. Gotcha. Each turn, you will receive a number of cards. In order to build, click on the card and then click on the ground or, an, or another building. There's a couple of translation things here and there, but we won't mention them all as they pop up. I'll try and just uh, parse it and say it cleanly here. In the card, on the card, the top part is the resource that the building needs. In the middle, the resources that you will receive. Numbers with a slash T means that you will need to re wait. You will need or receive this resource every turn. Okay. In this case, you will use one brick and you will need one food per turn. You will receive one worker and one coin. Okay, so this is saying you will you use one brick once, one food per turn, and you will gain one worker and one coin. Okay, gotcha. Understood. So that's what these are all. Are these all just houses? These are all just standard houses. I'm down to go for that. Sure, let's start. One lone house in the center. Right there. Every time you build a new house, you'll receive new citizens. Your objective is to get as many citizens as possible in order to unlock new cards. In this box, you can see the current number of citizens in your city and the citizens needed to unlock the next card. Up there. Okay. So at five, we get more cards. So for now, it's just straight up. Some buildings allow you to build on top of them. Building over other buildings is the main key of, of a vertical kingdom. Who would have thought? Some buildings have a blue circle. This circle will show you if the building needs, if the build, if this building needs other buildings or resources in order to be able to be built. Building houses, you building houses, you earn. Sorry, this is this. There's a lot off here. I'm trying to. Building houses will earn you money. However, depending on where you build the house, the value is different. Houses do not like to be near near the same houses. Really? Because that one looked... It, it was like telling me to build that house there. Alright. It's not letting me play that there, so I guess I can... I gotta be done. Discard phase. Choose cards to discard. Each card discarded will decrease in one point. Decrease your Imperial loyalty by one point. Number of cards you can keep, zero. Okay. Pile of dry earth. Clicking on this card, you will receive dry land event cards into your hand up to the limit of seven cards total. Let me just see what that means. Only dry land. Clicking on this card, nothing happens. I have no idea what that's a what that means for right now. Maybe there's some kind of situation where that will be a little bit more logical. Why was I allowed to build these houses so close to each other? Whatever. I'll, I'll just go for it then. It seemed like we could build on top of them. It seemed to imply that, but... New card has been unlocked. You can buy it in the store. There. Oh, that's the, that's the one you can build on top of. You can only build... You can build only a small brick house on top. Okay. When you have a new card unlocked, you have to buy it in order to use it. To enter in the buy card, to enter the buy card menu, press the buy card button below the citizen box. Okay. Cost zero. I mean, for now, sure. I feel like, wh why not, right? I'm just going to click these. <laughs> okay, next. Next. Clicking on this card, all houses in your hand will increase by two workers without increasing food. This gives us three workers now. That's... Excuse me. It's incredible. 
Uh, let me put down this. So if I did here, I feel like I don't want to put this here if I want to. This gives me four money. Sometimes you need resources other way. To get resources trading. Press the trade button to open up the trade menu below the map button. You can sell resources from the city for other resources. The city will receive the resources in the next turn. For now, you can only trade one resource per turn. In the future, some buildings could give you more trades. Do I need... What do I need right now? Is this implying I need anything? I feel like I don't need anything at the moment. But yeah, we get minus one for being by that, but then we get one for being by that. I don't know. Let's do that there. You have reached a good amount of citizens. It's time to move forward and travel to other places to expand the empire. Press the map button to open the map menu. Great, architect. Excellent news. You did a great job. Not true. I def I can assure you this is not a clean layout, uh, but Okay. Completed all the goals for the city, we can move on to the next place and create a new city to expand our glorious empire. This is the map of the new region where we have to expand our empire. Move to a new place that will have... Moving to a new place will have the same cost, but it will bring new resources to the empire and new cards to unlock. Your main objective is to reach all places. Now it is time to move. Press the next local... Press, press the next location to finish the tutorial. All right. I'm assuming we are... Are we here? And then it's telling you to go there. Okay. All right. Interesting enough. Interesting enough. Ta-da! Let's go. <laughs> I got an A on that? Okay, well, maybe we're going to be fine. But we're going to play Empire Mode. I'm curious about what this is. Apparently... Again, the, the more roguelike type mode. Capital of the Empire, Throne Room. Dear Great Architect of the Glorious Empire, After the devastating war, we are facing a capital city in ruins, an empire near bankruptcy, and the citizens with low morale. However, we're, we are building a plan, your mission, to rebuild our capital and bring it to the glory that it deserves as a core, as a core for all the world. You will travel to different regions in order to build and expand our empire, get resources that we will use to create great wonders in the capital. Your brother is exploring the north. You will explore the south. Good luck, the emperor. Thank you. Welcome to empire mode, where the entire game takes place. This is the capital of the empire, the main area where you can see your achievements during the game. On the right, you will have the upgrade button that will help you complete your expedition. And the map button where you can choose regions to explore. Remember that you can move freely around the stage. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is pretty. Alright, I mean... Hello there. Is that I? Seems like we want to start here. Let's check, though. First things first. What do we... Empire resources, none. I think these are the tutorials. Good deal. All right. Show me what you got. Region Serpents. Headquarters camp. Great architect. The headquarters are ready. Here, you can upgrade your camp. Buy improvements that will help you in the cities of the region and choose the next place to go. Good luck with your mission. Glory to the Empire, your camp assistant. Welcome to the camp, the hub from where you will start expeditions in the region. On the right, you have several buttons, such as the button for improvements. Very useful to complete your expedition. The improvements are paid for with points you obtain during the expedition. You can also see the map where you can start the expedition of the region. Alright. We currently have no resources. Start each... So this is like... Okay. Let's make it just easier over time. Understood. There's the expedition map. When you confirm you want to continue, begin your journey, and the map will appear with several paths you can choose from. On the left, there's a resource book where you can show the resource that you will carry from city to city. Percentages are the amount you can take with you on your trip. Now in the camp, it is 100%, but later it'll be less. Okay. All's ready for the journey. Would you like to start gathering the resources and continue to the next place? Sure. 
Okay. So this is a city. This is a random event. Let me take me towards a city. Choose wisely your destination. Each place has pros and cons. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Ground in different levels are common to the highlands, full of stone and metal. Okay, they have different resources. I see in the bottom left. Each one, this has a lot more stone. This has a lot more bricks. Uh, you'll start with an extra amount of stone. Less space than other lands without wood and metal. Natural resources per, uh, are perfect to build because there's... Wait. Without wood and metal, natural resources, comma, are perfect to build, comma... It's plenty of, perfect to build because there's plenty of sand useful for bricks. Okay. You will start with an extra amount of bricks. I mean, fair enough. Understood. I, I currently do know about what to do with bricks. Found artifacts from an ancient civilization that could help you on your journey. Uh, sure, clicking on this artifact discards all dry land event cards from your hand, and you receive the same number num, number number of fertile land event cards with a cooldown of ten turns. Stone houses cost one more stone, but give two more workers. I don't have a lot of stone. I'm gonna say let's go with this pawn, so we can utilize that. If I have houses in my hand, which I do. Clicking this resets all active cooldowns to zero on artifacts. Oh, baby! So these get plus five. Does not like the other house in the same... Owner of the same house near. You can buy this house in the store. Is it free? Okay, so it's been added to my deck, I guess. Not Okay, so we could do... That, I'm already at 10. I'm already at 15, baby. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. That was, I mean, that's really optimal. Dry land. So this is just like a, a dead card, more or less. Brick tower, you can build on top of it. To plus two. So why does this give me six gold? Six bucks. Is it really just saying... I mean, I'm happy about it, but why does it do that? We have a very limited amount of space. We'll probably want to build on top of this, but if we want to build on top of this, we can't build here. That's the issue. But, like, I want to build here because it seems like it's giving us a lot more money. Oops. So what's up with that? Let's watch what let's watch closely what happens here. We have this would put us up to 29. Does this actually give us six coins? Yeah, that that does give us six coins. Alright. What kind of resources do we want? We have plenty of bricks. Like, I don't really know what I want yet, I guess. Not really that big of a deal for anything. House. Like, I could build this here. Minus one population in both those houses. To gain, theoretically, like, one. I guess it's like we, we get less... I don't know. Hmm. Or do we get less money? We'll see, we'll see. Because it feels like we are going to run out of space. Logically. Great architect. I should have probably done it in a different order because we could do two and then we could do four. It doesn't expressly say why that one's giving me more. I, I'll have to look at it more there. Great architect. Excellent news. You did a great job. We completed all the goals of the city. We can move on to the next place and create a new city in order to expand our glorious empire. Yeah, I, I mean, I blitzed that one pretty fast because of <laughs> that the early turn one cheese a well only buildable on land I mean if I buy it now I don't know if it stays with us but I'll I'll take it nonetheless now on the left is the points you've earned during this expedition the points you can take back to the capital if you finish the expedition at that time important to decide when to return from the expedition and save those points to purchase upgrades for the next expedition if you're if you return after completing a city the percentage of points you can take is higher you return after completing a city, the percentage points. 
great. Zero resources. All is ready for the journey. Would you like to start gathering resources and continue the next place? I mean, yes. Apparently, I have zero. I thought I completed a city, though. Apparently, apparently not. Ba ba. Not bad. This definitely feels like it. I should be able to click to speed this up because I can't right now. All right. Okay, so there we go. We do we do have resources. If you leave now, you receive 50%. But if we complete a city, we'll get more. Small floating islands? That sounds fun. We get a lot more imperial honor. We get more money. We get less, less bricks, but we also have a fair amount of bricks already. Go for it. Let's go for it. We're building a different spot. When you click on this artifact during the turn, when building, buildings will not have placement restrictions over other structures. Are you saying, like, with the little, uh, when, when they get grumpy when they're building by each other, is that what you're saying? Or are you saying we can build on top of things? Even though it normally wouldn't say so. I have more stone. A necessary document so that more workers can work in other places. Increases the transportation of unemployed workers to other places by 25%. Okay. So we have 14 workers right now. We're fine. Workers use that per turn. I feel like we're running low. Choose each new pack of cards for the next five turns. Ah. Give me a farming pack. Or wait. Probably. No farming residential. Farming residential. Do it. We'll try that out. A well only buildable on land. Minus one person. Minus one brick. Plus two water. Needed for farming. So we can build down there. We can build a little house down there. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this place. Doesn't seem like there's any requirements. Okay. So we got the tower. But it doesn't really seem like it will matter for us. Oh my. Oh my, the zoom in. It sounds kind of fun to just build that down there. It feels, it feels stupid maybe, but it also looks cute. Look at how cute it is. Like, I could have... Whatever. And then we get the farming. Yeah, we don't we don't need this many. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I can't I can't build on top. This is my water well area. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for so many farming. I thought I guess I thought I'd get more cards than that. That is not the case. Minus two. I really want to build on top, but like must be missing something on it, but like, it doesn't feel like it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, this... This, this is a mistake. But we can maybe... Uh, we'll trade... Trade our water... For what? I mean, right now I'm gonna need... I'm going to need food. Okay. Definitely all residential. Click on this card, receive up to seven cards in your hand without passing turns. Okay. Seems 
busted. We got so many workers now. Yeah, this gives us one... I don't know. It really feels like this is just the way we're supposed to do it. House, house, tower in the middle. House, tower in the middle. Like, this is so suboptimal. We do, we would gain the workers. But I don't get it. It says we still gain three workers. Should I just do this just to test it out and finally, like, kind of lay this to, the, to bed here? Like, what are we really subtracting? We lose... Obviously, we lose the... Uh, okay, we're, we're hurting for food. We need to do that trade. Like, I don't know if I can actually do this right now. I don't know what will happen when it hits zero, you know? Bad news, we don't have enough resources. Each unit of unfulfilled resources will decrease the loyalty by one point. This will negatively affect loyalty and the happiness of the city. We have to avoid the situation at all costs. Entirely understandable and fair. Uh, change their initial building material cost to one. Like, I can't really, I can't really do anything. We're losing a lot of loyalty points, but I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything, man. I thought that maybe I would have more farming cards than the one. Here's the thing. We need to get our population up. So that's the thing that really sucks here. I can only do one. One is, is like I have to, I literally have to put myself in grave danger so I can unlock a card that will get me out of this stinking situation. Like I'm at 34. I'm going to take a lot of penalties. Like it's just going to happen. Because I need to get out of this. What are we at? 39. I'm going to die, man. Like, already. Brick tower. Great. Don't want to put that there. You can't put this on top. All right. Please tell me that we can buy this. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. A farm only buildable on land plus 10 food. It's going to be too late, I bet. Yes, I know my loyalty is very low. I can't do anything about it. Discard all cards in your hand. Receive the same number of cards. Give me a farm. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I literally had to do this in, in this way. Like, the, the farming thing really got me there. Ouch. Send me into hell. Yeah, let's, uh... I guess we'll just let it... We'll just let it kill us here. For now. Oh! Let's go? Apparently I'm good. Oh, thank God. Yes, I'm ready to proceed. Save me! Save me! I guess we're fine. It's absolutely terrible, though. Ooh. Skip, skip, skip. I'm fine. Man, my loyalty points, they're so low. Uh, but I guess we could, like, we could finish mission. I'm gonna do that quick. Let's press finish, mi finish mission. Finish mission, see what happens. Start from fresh. Do not pick farming packs, because apparently the only card in the farming pack was that one that we had, you know? Like, that, that makes sense. We have these resources now. Um... First step is creating order. So 5,000 bucks, we can we can get that. We don't have the... Obviously, we don't have the stuff for it. All right, we'll start over. Start over. We, can, we have the foundation now, though. Like, I think we just need to pass more is really the big thing. 
Um, access to new improvements. Start each this region with a well at the beginning of each match. That seems like a good start. Okay. That sounds like a good start. Let's let's move up the same way though. Ground gaps aren't common. Uh are common. We could go for this. I feel like I'm not gonna have an issue generating people. But we also couldn't start with the well then. I don't know if we need to start with the well. That's the thing. Brick houses cost one more brick, but give an extra worker. Uh we have a, we have plenty of brick for right now. So that's just a passive. I feel like we don't really need to do much of anything here. So where are, where's the requirement here? Where did I get to see the requirement? 25. All right, where does it say 25 here? Maybe it doesn't. I guess I need to I need to see it on that screen. House, house, house. Sure. Okay, you can buy that in the store. Didn't have that from the get-go. Alright. Clicking on this card. All cards in your hand. All cards in your hand from buildings that produce resources will increase their production value by two. I... Does this... I didn't know if... Seems like... Is this making it take more, more food, too? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe, though. Is it just saying, like, I get six gold for this? Or six... I get six gold for this and the housemates are not angry? Why does this make me lose a gold? Because... You know? That's the thing, I just... One person stays in there, sure. All right, we can't go too far, but we need to make sure we get more citizens. We don't have any food. Discard your cards in your hand. Receive loyalty equal to cards multiplied times two. Do I care? We get six points. Do I care right now? I feel like right now my goal is probably to just... Um... Eh, eh, eh. My goal is to just get the 25 citizens there. I guess we could ditch this here, maybe. Sure. Sure, man. Resets the active of all... I don't have anything. I don't have any actives. So this does give us two. I mean, let's just get the requirements in and scoot here. A farm only buildable on land. Okay. Great. That that we want. Now we actually we've got ourselves like an actual legit Oh, we can stay if we want. Gotcha. We've got ourselves an actual legit way to make the food. I it maybe I'm crazy. It feels like maybe the farm should and well should be unlocked at the start, but you know, understood. Understood. Let's give this a shot. Let's go for the highlands. Resources needed to build the sand extractor are double. I don't know. If, I don't have one of those. Receive one more card per turn in your hand. If you reach the limit of cards in your hand, you will not receive more. Sure. Okay. I actually do want farming. Probably for a couple goes. Go like farming, farming, residential. Actually, 
We have plenty of workers. God, I don't want to really plan five turns out in advance here, but we need water. I was hoping to draw more wells than this. That's pretty annoying. Okay, so we need... We're missing the water, right? No, we're missing... Oh, we're missing um, the people, too. Gotcha. I didn't realize the farms took five. That's pretty, uh, pretty exceptional. Let's do water a turn. These take... I'm assuming water per turn. I mean, I'm down to just, um, to tank my, my water for a bit and ma more or less just, like, stall? We're losing a little bit of loyalty points by doing this. Oof. Receive cards into your hand up to the card limit without passing turns. I don't know if I want to do that. Also, can I? This sucks. Yeah, see, that's not good. This is not good. This is bad. This is why I didn't want to go five turns out, but, like, and I was thinking of doing the other one. But, um... A shame. That's annoying. All right, now we have so much food and everything. I'd say residential, residential. We'd probably go residential all the way down with like a little bit of farming at the end. Maybe. The fact that you have to plan it. Clicking on this card gives you 10 food. Great. All right, so there's that. I'm assuming we can't like build on top of any of these. Oh, that gives us plus six. It gives plus two. It's like it gives us plus two gold for every... No. I don't know, man. Is it explained in here? Some buildings have a circle, the other buildings, building houses earns you money. Depending on where you build the house, the value's different. Like, yeah, that much I got gotcha. you. Is there anywhere that it implies? I guess you just have to find out. I guess it's kind of just like a little pu like a little puzzle thing you have to figure out over time. We build here if we can. Which there there's a certain fun in that for sure. I think that that's the thing, is I think it's kind of I think it's kind of puzzly, but then the thing is, like, it, this feels really bad to not be able to do that. Like, it feels really bad to not be able to do that. What could go wrong? Oh, oh okay, so four is our new hand limit. Is that... I think that that's what that card was trying to say. Our new hand limit is four. All right. Got plenty of food, plenty of water. Uh, we're going to hit our water, our food limit in a sec here, though. And we'll start to be getting less. Let's check. What do we need? We need 50 residents to, to be successful here. I'm out of stone. Okay, well, or uh, bricks. I don't have any way to get bricks, though. Sell. Sell water? I could, I could sell some. I could, stone? Oof. Okay. I got a brick. Oh. That hurts. 
this item. Ouch. This item is painful right now. I'll tell you that. Reset your act. I don't have any actives. Um, these take bricks. Do we want that? If I subtract one here, does it subtract it from here? Is it based off of current uh, civilization or amount gained total? I'm assuming that will go down. It does not. It does not go down. We could do that, and we could do this, and then we could trade water instead of stone. Feels like maybe a better situation for us right now. Sure. Reset Reset my dang cooldowns. I really wish we could draw less. Uh, yeah, I basically just need to keep on stalling now. I guess, like, what are you supposed to do? Is it in, maybe it's intended that you only play a couple cards a turn, and then you eat the you eat the imperial loyalty points, or maybe you're supposed to continually go, come back, reset, go, come back, reset. Maybe like it, it's more meta progress related than I would think or want. Maybe. I don't know what to take here, because I, I won't be able to play, like, any of the cards, really. Like, I mean, I can technically play some of the farming cards, but then I'm never growing my population, which is what I need. If I finish the mission, I go back with basically nothing. I leave with 30%. We go in loop hero style. It feels like, I, like I'm seeing the writing on the wall of this ex specific excursion. It seems not possible. Right? Like... We will have to stall far too many times just to build a couple more population increases. I I don't know. I, I see, like, getting to 30 is going to take us, like, because we, we only get to trade one for one resource a turn. That's, like, that's really bad. That's really bad for us. Obviously, we'll get things that will let us do more trades later, but... That's just brutal for right now. I feel like the writing's on the wall on this one. I think we go back, but then that's the thing. It's like, are we supposed to just keep on getting the meta progress stuff, I, I suppose? Is, is the intent, like... Because functionally, I don't know how that would be possible currently, otherwise. We have the 1,500 resources. And then if you... Let me check here. Do we... Just, just to check... Are these... These are permanent. Okay. So, like, we could go in. We could just take, like, the different path. And maybe don't go for the city right away. Like, for example, like, you go down here to this camp instead. Like, let's take a look at what that looks like, perchance. Like, I guess you're just supposed to lose the first little bit. Potentially. Maybe. I could be wrong. Like, I'll, I'll try out a different method. Um, but it's like, it's... The fact that you have to draw a full pack, full pack, and if you... Like, I, I can't gain bricks at a pace of anything more than one per turn. And if I'm doing that, I'm also trading something else that's also, like, incredibly valuable. So it's just tricky. Farm food production is increased by five, but they need one more water. Like, that feels doable. That feels doable, but I feel like I got bit in the butt last time. So we have the well. So we could just make one. Why? I don't even know, I guess. So we could trade... Just, I guess it's so that we don't ditch this and lose the uh, the loyalty points. Uh, receive some... This, oh, just discard your cards and receive the same number of cards. Fair. But uh, by doing that, I guess we could trade the water for what? 
We could trade one water for one food right now. We could trade one water for... Like, what is a resource that we're going to really run out of? We might not run out of bricks as fast, but that feels like a fine trade. Like, over the course of time, we'll be able to get more and more uh, tradeability. Okay, well, that really likes to be by that, I guess. Okay, I don't know why I drew three cards, but I'm happy about it. I feel like I should have just drawn one. Okay, so happy to go in. Get that, get it, got it good. And I'm assuming we need, so yeah, we need 25 as per use. Oh, that was, that, that was optimal. That was optimal as hell. But like we're, the thing is we're using a lot of our resources right now that we're going to truly need later. So go up to, so this gives us plus one. It also looks like whatever buffs we put on these things maybe stay. Which is more wild than anything. Please don't be. Oh. Do I take the loyalty points or do I sack the... Yeah, it was just a mistake to even to even throw in a, a farming thing at all. Tower. That'll do it. Uh oh that's it. No 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 no. We need twenty five twenty five new citizens. Okay, well we got a little bit then. Point two. Oh no. We're gonna have to take an entire extra turn here. Yeah, it's like, how am I supposed to have the food to facilitate this? Okay, so I will do that once. Okay. I will happily buy that. Oops, hold on. I will happily, happily buy that. And then we will ditch those for new food. And then we will leave. Continue. Yes. Very much so, yes. Ba -bum. Bum. Alright, found an old camp. Hire some workers. Could. Uh, if you're in a little camp of people, you get clothes, they invite you and your companions to rest of their camp, and you accept. Long rest, they tell you that some workers in James... I mean, I'll tell you what, this is going to be the last one we do here, so I'll do it. You receive 21 workers and 67 Imperial loyalty. I mean, that, that aspect's nice. So, this feels... Wait, oh. Discards all cards in your hand, receive loyalty equal to the number of discarded cards, multiplied by two... Um, yeah, this just seems great. So, yeah, we, 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 again, we will need 50 here. Uh, what do we have? I mean, we, like, we just need, we need farming. Like, I need it desperately. Because I'm out of food already. Because I had to be out of food to get the requirements of the first place. What the hell, man? What the hell? Like, I had to be out of food to get that first one done in time. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to predict. Like, I'm not going to have enough water to use all that stuff, but like... I just need to start generating some, some stuff. I can't take that penalty. So if we do this right now... Okay, that, that water is auto-usable. Oh boy, this was a mistake. Oh boy, this was a mistake. Alright, um... 
I'm actually going to trade because I, I, I see the writing on the wall here. I see the writing on the wall here. We're going to have more than enough of all of this. Far too much. We shouldn't have taken that trade of seven cards there. I, for some reason, I thought that maybe we could get house cards, which I actually think I could facilitate right now. Fine. But, like, we're going to have to discard lots here. I think I can take another one of those. Just got to watch my bricks. Let's discard. Probably going to do a decent amount of discarding here. Fertile land. Click this card for 10 food. Oh, great. Yeah. I'm fine with... Whoop. Ditching a little bit here and there. I'll place down a well. And then we can maybe even... We could probably go as far as to sack... Um, water instead. Like, I don't think that'd be much of an issue. Food warehouse is full... Uh, this situation will bring stability to our city. Our loyalty and happiness will increase by five points. Uh, great. What's our happiness? What do you, what, what, hap, what do you mean happiness? It's fantastic, but what? All right. Um, I, can we just, can we do like a couple residentials? Well, we're going to run out of, see, this is the thing. We're just going to run out of bricks now. Like, we just need to stall. We're going to run out of bricks. Uh, this is worth doing. Get loyalty. So we can't have loyalty over 100. House. House. All right, we got more than enough food to play around with for a while. But we're doing what we can, man. Still at plus 32 food. Is this going well still? We're still doing... Yeah, we're getting one per. I mean, that's fine. That's a house per. It's... We are going to run out, and boy, do I wish I could get more per. Uh, it's... I mean, like, it's only logical just to spam residential until we're out of the food here. Like, but I'm hoping... Okay. Well, that helps. That makes these... Oh, these are uh, down to one now. So that actually is quite nice. Maybe even permanently. We have another place to build. We do indeed. Does this give us more than... Yeah, it does give us the two. It's fine. Running low on bricks there, finally. I mean, but this is, it's its working. It's just going to be slow. Discard your can, your cards. Get, you know what? Yeah, absolutely. Discarding all my cards is really, it's really convenient right now. It's a win-win. Like, I want, I wish we could build on top without it being a stupid idea. Am I crazy? Like, that feels like that's the whole thing. But it looks like it's so dumb. What is this minus one business about? Like, it's supposed to give us one person, does it? It does. They're unhappy. Like, what does that, what does that mean to me? That they're unhappy? Do I care? Doesn't like to see the same house near. It didn't seem to matter. Am I crazy? It didn't seem to matter to me. I don't know, man. I'm out of my mind. Okay, so since our food warehouse... I mean, that's an element that I didn't know. Since our food warehouse is full, we just keep on getting more point, more happiness points. So we can... As long as we are overstocked on food, we can just keep on 
ditching our cards? Is that am I understanding that correctly? Like I'm gonna ditch these so that I can place a plus two bopper. No, I guess not. That's not how it works. Or the very least, not reliably. And we still can't get more than one brick a turn. And there's no other way to gain bricks. Ever. Okay? We definitely should have been doing this. Like, that That much is for sure and on me, but like... Like, I'm gonna wait. I think the optimal thing to do is to keep on ditching and wait until we can play our entire hand. And then buff that up. Right? So we'll probably need... Uh, annoyingly, we'll probably need like five which is gonna take a long time but like it's just like it's basically what we're doing anyways right like i wait this should be the last one apparently we're not getting the food reserve buff again sure sure it says the proximity buff is not does not apply this turn and yet. I'll, I'll take your word for it, card. I will take your word for it. New card is unlocked. Building pillar that you can build on top of. I mean, that's fun. It's cool. Do I do I even really want it, though? I, don't, I guess I'm not entirely sure that I will. So, we're at 47. We're, we're pretty close to getting to where we need to go. If only. Like, I'll just... I'll keep doing that so we lose less of this. Like, hopefully we can... Platforms... Platforms is an entire category we'd have to draw from? Like, I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the bronze or, or the, the bricks to to do that anyways you know what i'm saying all right so next turn we we are out of here there so that's improved by five which is great because we are like floundering big time final house sorry i'm scrolling as fast as i can we're done done all right we've done it congratulations the thing is, the, the loop for this might be exceptionally fun later, you know? Like, this might be one of those things that is, um... It's about getting a lot of those unlocks, things like that. I was told it was a roguelike mode. I guess I thought that that meant not a roguelite mode. Because the game markets itself as a roguelite already. So I thought that a roguelike mode was, you know, meta progressionless per, per, per chance. But, you know, alas, uh, maybe not. Uh... But hey, it's it's an interesting concept. It's a neat idea. I'd like to see it polished, expanded upon. I'd like the early elements to be a little bit, you know, to spice be spiced up for this mode here. I think that starting with nothing and no way to get so many of the resources you need to literally build the things feels a little odd. Like, especially when the requirements will put you on a timer. It puts you on a food timer with no ability to generate food right away makes it so that it's really just like a set way that you have to do it exactly the same way every time and that seems a bit brutal that being said the more you play like we can obviously we get the 55 percent we can go finish mission we go back we got a lot of materials we can go back buff things up it's kind of got almost like um it's like a loop hero if the only aspect that it was focusing on was kind of like the city builder and placement elements start all regions with a platform card like that's something we could do so we like literally need to buy this to even get that also feels kind of bad the fact that you literally have to get that improvement to buy other improvements but the thing is like it's probably a very satisfying loop if you're willing to invest the time into it like that's something i want to say like if you're willing to invest the time and get to the point where you have all of the the materials and everything like that you get all you know, look at all this stuff you can do there's a, a a lot of interesting concepts and i'm like tabbing out here i see 
you know, like, I see the talent tree and everything like that. There's there's lots of things to the game that you can get and improve. And uh, I, I think that the loop of building the city could be really zen and satisfying and interesting and strategic. Um, but some of the things about, like, the the placement of what the building's like is sort of weird and arcane. And it's, it seems strange that, like, the placement... Building, I don't know. It looks like the buildings, the houses like to be on top of the other buildings. It looks like they're supposed to be. The thing basically begs you to do it, but also it's suboptimal at the same time. It feels it feels strange. So there's just like some interesting things here and there that'd be fun if they were. Uh, it'd be more fun if they were looked at and, and polished up for like a new player experience, making sure that the beginning of the game is just as interesting or just as appealing that makes you want to come back to see. The, the later elements of the game that potentially are indeed more satisfying uh, and easier to appreciate. But there's something here that is good and is very cool. I think that, um, I, I don't know, like I think that leaning more into a deck builder element with this actually would serve to benefit it. The idea of, the idea of drawing out your cards, picking five turns in advance, what full entire hands worth of these cards you want is a little rough. Like, I, I don't know. It's 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 a fun strategic decision in a way, but in practice, especially early on, it really is just like, it's a cut and dry, do it this way. Uh, otherwise, you just literally won't have resources. You'll bleed dry. This will make you bleed dry less. You will eventually... You will eventually run out of resources in like two or three missions. That that doesn't feel great. Like I don't I I don't know. I don't know if the meta progress angle is really the one that I would have gone with personally, but that's never one I really like to go with too much. The thing is, if you're gonna do it, you need to make sure that the first uh, the first go before you get meta progress makes you want to get that meta progress. And I fear uh, that this may not attract uh the further playthrough you know i think it could could get there and i hope it does because i think it's a very nice concept i think it could be very relaxing i think it just needs to lean maybe a little bit more into the deck building specific would actually I, this may be one of the rare cases where that's the angle um and it's a good idea i think that the meta progress should not be so strong or at the very least at a base it should be feasible for you to sustain yourself for more than two or three levels because that feels bad you know that feels bad that being said that is just that game mode that's the but this is the game mode that i was told to play this was the game mode i was told to play so that's the one i'm talking about here campaign uh may be entirely better and different i recommend you you take a look at that but this this was the one that the the, the dev told me to check out and that is therefore the one that i am going to talk about uh but Potentially, this is going to be a better loop. This might be more uh, more the jam, more the speed. Let's see, does it have... You know, it's got the same... Yeah, it's got the same cards to start out with, everything like that. Uh, but, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Vertical Kingdom. You can pick it up with the link at the top of the description. Uh, no, you cannot. It's not out yet. It is not out yet. You can wishlist it with the link at the top of the description. I don't know when it's going to be coming out, but... I think it's worth watching if the concept looks interesting to you. It is worth watching. I think there is something... There is something here. I think it's going to take some iterations. I think the translation needs some some sprucing up. There needs to be some quality of life. Uh, and... Um, use, user... I don't know, yeah, just user experience improvements. Uh, kind of like... In, in a lot, lot of areas, because... I don't know. It, it's a it's a tough one to approach. It's a it's tough to approach, but I imagine again that somebody will play this for a long time and really enjoy it, and will be like, "Man, I wish that that first little bit was more approachable to people, so people would like this game more." Because getting over that first hump is kind of sluggish. Uh, that's my prediction on what this game's situation is. But alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it for today. Link in the top description, you want to pick it up. Whenever it comes out, make sure you wishlist it if it looks interesting to you. I'm not telling you not to get it. I'm just saying, be warned. I bet you the beginning is going to be more sluggish than you would want. But hopefully it gets better after that. Alas, alas, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye!